It's Tip Tuesday with the LSU Ag Center. My name is Will Afton. I'm a horticulturist. I work out of St. Tammany Parish. When growing citrus trees, all citrus trees uh, produced for sale in the state of Louisiana are going to be grafted. Come out of two nurseries uh, on the South Shore, like Pontchartrain Star Nursery and Becknell Nursery. Uh, a grafted plant has a root system, and then the top part, the scion of that plant, is uh, the desired, typically it's a fruit species, but it could be an ornamental variety. Uh, so when you buy your citrus trees, you're going to obviously see where your rootstock uh, matches up with the scion part, the, the, you know, the actual variety part. You can see this. You can pick this out. Uh, you can find this on your trunk, six to eight inches from the ground level. Uh, we like to prune out any buds that arise from below the graft union because they're going to be a part of that rootstock and it's not going to be that desirable citrus fruit that we thought we were purchasing in the beginning. Uh, and just you know, checking below that graft union three or four times a year and prune them when they're small, it's very easy. This is what happens though when you allow it to expand on its own. Uh, rootstock is a very vigorous plant, so it grows a lot faster than our typical citrus varieties. Uh, the scientific name is Ponsiris trifoliata. And if we look at the leaves here, I think you can understand where we get that trifoliate species name. You can see where this leaf is actually dissected into three smaller uh, leaflets. Uh, and one other thing about the rootstock orange, the Ponsiris trifoliata, is you notice the excessive amount of thorns. Uh, that's a common trait with that particular plant, and uh, you can use it to identify it if you, if you let your rootstock grow up on you. So